Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a new chip by Cerebras, which is a uh, chip company. Uh, let's talk about it, because I think this is very interesting, especially when it comes to serving uh, models. Uh, we, we saw with Grok that the amount of tokens per second that Grok was able to achieve was something very impressive. Here we can go to Grok uh, and let's, let's say ready hello world uh, program. So you guys can see the output, it's almost are real time, right? So this is 1200 tokens per second. Uh, let me see what model it's using. Yeah, this is using Llama 3 8B, okay, with 8000 tokens of context window. Let's see writing snake game uh, in Python. So it should be in less than a second, right? should be really fast and you guys can see it's really really fast so i can see this as absolutely the best way to bring down the price of inference and thus making llms more accessible especially uh, when the infrastructure of running this model requires very expensive gpus from nvidia and they do not have this same throughput as these chips okay so it's pretty interesting but these chips are made only to run uh, uh, the transformer models. Uh, let's see more about this one from Cerebros, uh, which shows that uh, Llama 3.170B uh, it runs at 450 tokens per second, which is 20 times faster than GPUs. So yeah, so it's 60 cents per million tokens uh, and has support for full uh, 60 meat precision. Okay, now let's test Cerebras to see how fast it is. Let's go with write me uh, a Python uh, snake game. It should be able to do this. Okay, it's pretty fast actually. I think this code should work, right? This code should be able to work, but it's pretty much real time, right? And it's running the Llama 8B. They also have the 70B model, uh, but the 8B, I think it's gonna be really, really fast. And here we can see the amount of tokens per second. It is faster than Grok about 50% faster, which is impressive <laughs> because Grok was already very, very fast. 1200 tokens per second is something that is very impressive. But when I see this, I start to think what NVIDIA will do in response to this. Will they uh, work specifically on a new chip that is optimized for transformer models and thus being able to compete with this? Because uh, training, I think NVIDIA definitely has the upper hand because their stack is better for training but for inference one of the main issues is just a raw output right raw throughput uh, and this is definitely better on that front uh yeah uh something that i i don't know exactly how this will shake up the chip market uh, and inference it's said to be way more demanding than training because training is something that you usually just do once uh, inference is something that you need to do all the time as long as there are people using your model or your service you need to be running inference so this this is something that I think is very interesting. I would like to see more on this. So here we can use other models uh, here. So there's Gemma, Gemma 9B. Let me see on the 70B. Let's test the 70B model to see how many tokens per second we got on there. So writing long story about the moon. I'm gonna copy this. So let's run. I wanna run again and run. So yeah, so Grok got uh, 310 tokens per second here and Cerebus 441 tokens. So I think it's pretty much uh, the 50% seems to be a pretty constant figure of 50% faster than Grok. And Cerebus, I, I heard about them a couple of years ago when they were building huge uh, chips, uh, chips that were said to have a, a, a trillion transistors. So yeah, but that was focusing on training. I think that inference definitely has a lot of eyes on it because as I said, this is a new market and the, the best players have the chance or the opportunity to capitalize and make a potential billions of dollars as uh, or even trillions as was the case with NVIDIA and its historic price. But that's pretty much the video guys. Right, well, let me know down below what you guys think about this. If you guys think that uh, this new uh, chip it might be that in the future, uh, 
GPUs will have this kind of technology that will allow them to run inference way faster. So this is something that I think that NVIDIA is looking into it. But that's pretty much the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And see you guys in the next one. Peace out.